Hey everyone, CNC Keith here. I'm at Duke University in beautiful Durham, North Carolina at the Pratt Engineering School Shop, the student shop. Let's walk on in and check it out. Uh, they've got a bunch of really cool machine tools here I wanted to show, share with you uh, in this video. Uh, first up is a Prototrack TRL 1440 flatbed lathe. Check this out, we've got this lathe here. Uh, originally equipped with a Prototrack control, has a bunch of nice uh, hand wheels and jog buttons on it, and uh, running it now is a Centroid T400 CNC control. This was a retrofit, obviously. There's the Centroid cabinet in the back. There's a Centroid all-in-one DC controlling the original stock DC servo motors that came with the Prototrack, and all these controls have been retrofitted into the Centroid T400 control as well. Pretty cool. Next up they have here right across from the Prototrack is a Babin Hardinge style CNC lathe as well, also equipped with a Centroid T400. This lathe is very unique because not only is it super precise, but it has full manual control. Check out all the manual knobs there, as well as CNC control. Pretty nice looking. Okay, moving on. We've got a manual bridge port that has been converted to CNC with a Dwayne Elrod motor mount kit using Centroid DC servos and a M400 CNC control that the instructor here at the shop installed in this cabinet and wired up himself. It's an all-in-one DC based CNC control and this system's running the latest version of Centroid CNC software What's also interesting to note is this particular machine has a scale on the W axis on the knee and that is being displayed on the screen. So that's pretty slick as well. Moving on, we have another retrofit. This is another Prototrack machine. This is a bed mill that originally had a Prototrack on it and was upgraded quite some time ago to a Centroid. And we have an M400 CNC control running this bed mill now. This is a four axis bed mill, the rotary table sitting in that box back there. It's also interesting to note this uh, machine uh, has a Centroid Servo 3IO controlling the whole show and that's a old technology but that is still being supported with the latest version of Centroid software. So even though the electronics in that control cabinet are over 15 years old, the control and Centroid still supports that old hardware. So the guys here at the shop can run the latest, greatest software with a legacy ad kit, which was installed in this particular machine. Same story with this Bridgeport Boss over here that they have as well. We've got a brand new M400 console on there running the latest version of CNC12 software, yet the hardware in that box is over 15 years old, which is pretty slick. And it's really cool that Centroid continues to support its old legacy hardware it takes a lot of work and energy to do that, and uh, these guys here really appreciate that, that uh, we have a solution for them. Also, they have here two two-axis A-Trump knee mills, also with Centroid M400s on them. There's the other one down there. These are kind of neat because they have a scale on the quill and a scale on the knee. So both the quill and uh, knee, uh, which is the W-axis in this case, are being displayed on the screen in addition to CNC control uh, for X and Y. And of course you have hand wheels as well, so this machine can be used as a DRO or as a two-axis CNC with uh, scale feedback on the quill and on the knee. Pretty slick. Alrighty, the last Centroid uh, in the shop here on this visit is a T400 equipped An Yang lathe. This is a flatbed lathe that originally had an Analam control on it, so we were able to reuse the Z-axis and X-axis servo motor. Uh, we also upgraded the hand wheels on here during the retrofit and installed an electric, a Chinese electric turret, a four-position turret, and got that all configured up and running with the Centroid T400. We also installed a safety switch here since this is in a student shop so that when you close the door, the spindle will run only when the door is closed. And if it's running a job and you open the door, it stops the spindle for safety reasons. And a future project, they just picked up this Prototrack bed mill and for a song, and they're getting ready to install another Centroid CNC control on this machine. 
So we're going to have an all Centroid student shop here at Duke pretty soon. Talk to you later. Just wanted to share that with you. Bye-bye.